I can't remember the first time we met. I was too young back then. You were always there for me, even before I could really appreciate it. And even though I don't remember it, I could always feel it. When you were with me, I always felt safe. Protected. What do I do now when life gets scary? Who do I go to when I'm sad? Who's going to sit with me on my bedroom floor and laugh at my attempts to draw a horse or listen to my bad jokes? Mom and dad have so much on their minds lately and I can't always run to them for every little thing. I could rely on you for that. I could. It was you who left, but a part of me went away with you as well. You were my shoulder to cry on when I was all sad and mopey. You were my support so I don't fall. And if I did, you were there to comfort me and to show me how I can do better. I was never lonely because you were there. You knew all my secrets, fears, hopes, and plans. You scolded me often when I would cross the line and you always gave me advice. You taught me so many things. And in a way, a lot of what I learned about life I learned through you, with you. When we went on adventures together, those were some of my favorite days. I would always get you in so much trouble, but you didn't mind. You acted like you did, but you cared for me too much to hold it against me. You were my best friend, and I miss you so much already. I will cherish our time together, and I will always remember you. At least until we meet again. Partner. Oh my god, you scared the living daylight out of me. Hey girl, where do you think you're going? You know where I'm going. I do. That's why I'm here. I hope you didn't come here to stop me. Listen girl, Ted was a dear friend of mine. I don't want to talk about it. I understand, but listen. This here, it's a suicide mission. I don't care anymore, B. I'm going to stop him once and for all. All those people that had suffered because I was afraid. If you go after him alone, it'll end up tragically. We're... Were you there? I was caught up with the Paper City's finest, and I got there too late. It... It was heartbreaking seeing that. Ted was a great bear. He really was. I'll miss him so much. Don't let his death be in vain. Think this thing through. I... I have to do this. He's after me, and I'm done hiding. Either he'll get me, or I'll get him. But in any case, it'll stop his reign of terror. I get it. It's just... Maybe you don't have to do this alone, you know? I have to. Ted told me it's something I have to do on my own. Besides, you know you guys can't go through these woods. How did you know to come here? I remembered you telling us you followed his footsteps back here to Sorrow Hills. Me and my big mouth, eh? CBG, thank you for everything. You really are the hero Paper City needs and deserves. Don't ever stop fighting for what you believe is right. I don't intend to, girl. I'm worried if something happens to you, There'll be no city for me to watch over anymore. Paper City has grown beyond me. I'm sure you guys will be fine. You don't sound too optimistic. Should I worry? Don't. Please. I'll be fine. Well then. I hope this isn't goodbye, little miss. Don't be silly. We'll see each other again. Godspeed, girl. Ted might be gone, but I'm sure he's gonna be with you all the way. 
Make them proud. Make us all proud. Bye, CBG. Till we meet again, Amber. Why did you even make these, Mom? Because they're like... It's not my fault you couldn't have it. Stop it, you two. Look at my little child, Amber. They have your I made that bench for the plant. They smell so good, though. I always get these mundane ones. Fine. Maybe next time you won't get any at all. Would that make it better? Tragic. Can't I just have one? No. Can't I have one family dinner without any drama? You know you can't have any. Maybe the allergies have subsided. I read somewhere that can happen. Amber, please. But I want some. He always gets to have some of mine as well, and I can't have any of his. It's not fair. Tom, Tom. Take it with me. Ugh, just ugh. I don't like where this is going. It worked. The cap is off. Oh my god, I can't even look at it. Okay, it's done. I just want to get rid of it. Go, Mr. Doctor, sir.
Look who decided to show up. What are you talking about? Show up where? What is this place? You don't recognize this? It kind of looks like that ballet studio mom used to take me to. But you hated it, didn't you? It's not like you would be good at it. You have fat feet. Hey, who do you think you are? I'm the real you. By the way, this cute, polite mask you're hiding under, that's not you. You don't know anything about me. Are you kidding? I am you. You're really losing it, aren't you? Talk to yourself much? Shut up. You're not me. You're rude and ugly, and you have fat feet. You spoiled brat. You're a burden to everyone around you. Everyone's always taking care of you so you don't have to think about the consequences. Why are you doing this? I want you to drop that mask you're hiding under. I don't know what. It was all your fault. You and your stupid allergies. Shut up. I see what you're doing. They should lock you up in a glass bell. Shut up. And Ted died because of you. I... Oh, you think I don't know? It was you acting like a little spoiled brat that got him killed. He said it wasn't my fault. Of course he did. He was looking after you like everyone else. Don't you dare talk to me about Ted. He was my best friend. And you got him killed. Stop talking about him. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Stop repeating after me. Stop repeating after me. I said stop. I'm sorry. It's okay, honey. You just have to realize your dad and I we won't always be there for you. You need to learn these things for yourself. You saw what happened tonight. I'm sorry. I won't eat them anymore. You can still make them for Flint if you want. I promise I won't eat them anymore. Do you think it's best that we stay clear from them for now? Don't worry about Flint. He just spoke. Yeah, it's stupid. Oh my god, stop! Is it, oh my god, is that our building? Mom? Stop here, please. Stop. Dad, what's going on? wearing that. Is that you, Red? Fine, be like that. There's just all sorts of you, isn't there? You mean all, all sorts, sorts of you? you? I'm not buying that. I'm nothing like you at all. What do you want? What do I have to do? I have something for you. Is that... what is that? Here's the deal. Give me something in return and you get to find out. Quid pro quo, Who's under that? Uh-uh. That's not how this works. What do you want? Pick three. Any three. Give them to me. If I do that, will you bring him back? What'll happen to the ones I give you? Talk is cheap, babe. Get to do. What do you want me to do? Pick three. Any three. Give them to me. Let's try it. It's locked. I hope you can forgive me.
I'm really not okay with this. Is this the last one? Betty, the she was your mom's doll, and she cares for you. Don't pay her. choose the bunnies. You know they risked their necks for you. They went against King and helped you get into Paper City. This is how you repay them? Rusty, rusty, brave, selfless, working class robot. Have you got no heart? I'm so sorry, guys. Please forgive me. Give them to me! There, you freak. Pledge them to me and ask in return. You can have all of them. Just bring him back. You monster! Why would you do this? No. No. No! No! Oh great, another one. Just go through one of the doors, please. Find an empty spot and stay there. I'll come and check up on you later. I think you got me confused with someone else. What is this place? It's a customer support center. Wait, you're not here for the job? Where did you come from? Like, outside? Oh, look at you, Miss Outside. I don't appreciate your attitude, to be honest. I'm leaving. <sighs> Good luck with that. There's no leaving this place. What do I need to do? Aren't you the famous world traveler, Miss Outside? What do I know? I'm just a service provider. Okay, I get it. Help me. I need... Ugh. Customer service. Have you tried turning it on again? Turn what on? Your brain. Are you making fun of me? I'll report you. All reports are to be submitted in writing and deposited in an official complaint box. The review could take up to 10 working days. Please be patient and don't hesitate to ask for help in the meantime. And remember, we're only happy if you're happy. Whatever, what do I need to do? You have to find out something. What? There was this old man. He used to live alone in our building on Whitewater. Remember back in the city? Remember? I guess. I can't remember his name though. I don't know. I can't remember either. Anyways, find out what happened to him. How? Ask around. I can't hold your hand. Fine. After I find out, I'm out of here. Sure.
Hello there, how can I be of assistance? What? How is this? Where am I? It's the customer service, ma'am. How can I help you? What do you mean? It's me. I don't know your stupid answer. I'm trying to leave. Answer? Your stupid question about our neighbor? Whatever his name was? I'm sorry, miss, but you must have me confused with someone else. Is there something I can help you with? Are you kidding me? Um, I mean, joking and kidding wasn't part of my orientation? Fine, whatever. I just want to get out of here. What is it that you want? Me? Ma'am, I don't want anything. I'm just here to help you. How can I be of assistance, miss? Hey, do you know what happened to our neighbor from Whitewater Street? You know, back in the city? Which one? The old man. I always felt sorry for him. He seemed so lonely. The old man from 15D? Oh yeah, that's right, 15D. What was his name? I can't remember. I... I can't remember either. I remember feeling sorry for him, because I thought he lived alone. I think he had a wife, miss. She would always bake those cookies for the kids. Remember how every time she would make them, their entire floor would smell so good? What was that smell? I can't remember. Don't worry, miss. I'm sure it'll come to you. In any case, don't forget. He was in apartment 15D. Yeah, thanks. I'll remember. Hello, miss. How can I help you? Hey, do you know what happened to our neighbor from back in the city? I'm not sure which neighbor you mean, ma'am. The lonely old man. I'm afraid I need some more information in order to help you. What apartment was he in? 15D? Oh, yeah. I remember now. He had a cat. Dinah, right? Can't remember his name, though. Weird. Oh, I've totally forgotten about Dinah. She was so cute. But yeah, that guy. I can't remember his name, either. Never mind, I'll get it. Thanks anyways. Glad I could help, miss. Listen, I don't have a lot of patience left, so let's just cut to the chase. Oh, by all means. Okay, do you know what happened to our neighbor from the city? Which one? Ugh, I can't remember his name. Okay, was there anything about him that stood out? He had the cutest cat named Dinah. Oh, you mean Mr. Morgan? Mr. Morgan, that's right. That was his name. How could I forget that? Are you satisfied with the service I provided? What? Oh yeah, that was great, thank you. I'm only happy if you're happy. That's kind of sad. Tell me about it. You're still here? Didn't you say you can't wait to get out of here? I'm getting to it. No need to be unpleasant. Well then. Bon voyage, and don't forget about me when you make it. I just... you were a terrible choice for a customer support. Oh no, sticks and stones. By the way, the neighbor's name was Mr. Morgan, in case you forgot. I didn't, but thanks anyway. Hello, miss. In case you forgot, the number of the apartment was 15D. What? Oh yeah, thanks. I'll remember this time. Did you remember what kind of cookies his wife used to make? Can't you remember the smell? What was that? 
I can't remember. Don't worry, miss. I'm sure it'll come to you. In any case, don't forget. He was in apartment 15D. Yeah, thanks. I'll remember. Oh, great, a customer. Oh, great, a cheerful employee. What do you want? Well, nicer attitude would be a good start, but I need to know what happened to our neighbor back from the city. Which neighbor? The lonely old man? Oh, the one that used to hang in the dive bar down the street? What was the name of that place? I don't know. Why is this important? Why is anything important? Do you know what happened to him or not? I might. Well, I can't remember. Ugh, fine. I'll find out the name of the bar. Please do. Hello there, miss. Um, how can I help you? Listen, do you know what happened to our neighbor from the city? Which neighbor? That lonely old man? Oh yeah, I remember him. I remember him as being kind, but something was wrong with him, right? He was a... No, he wasn't. I mean, I think he wasn't. There was nothing wrong with him. He was just lonely and sad. No, there was. He was weird, especially later on. I don't know what you're talking about, but I remember him being nice. He was, no doubt. But there was this thing, something about him. Hello, miss. In case you forgot, the number of the apartment was 15D. What? Oh yeah, thanks. I'll remember this time. Did you remember what kind of cookies his wife used to make? Can't you remember the smell? What was that? I can't remember. Don't worry, miss. I'm sure it'll come to you. In any case, don't forget. He was in apartment 15D. Yeah, thanks. I'll remember. Hello again. Having a nice day? What's nice about it? I'm still- I'm sorry to hear- Yeah, I can't believe I forgot about dying. Sometimes we just forget things, I guess. No problem. If you find- You're still here? Didn't you say you can't wait to get- I'm getting to it. No need to be un- Well then, won't I just- Oh no. By the way, the neighbor's name was Mr. Morgan, in case you forgot. I didn't, but thanks anyway.
just give up already. You're never going to leave. Shut up. I won't be held here by your lack of incentive. You are not me and it shows. That's why you're stuck here. Look at you, all full of energy and life. I was just like that. Well, what happened? Your life happened. That's all sorts of vague, right? Anyways, I remembered the name of our neighbor downstairs. Mr. Morgan? It was, wasn't it? I remember now, he was that heavy smoker, that guy. Remember? I don't think I ever saw him without a, a cigarette. That's right. And he was really lonely. He wasn't lonely, he had a wife. I can vaguely remember her, but she would bake these cinnamon cookies for the kids, remember? I guess. I remember that cinnamon smell now that you mention it. Mr. Morgan, that's right. Now you just have to find out what happened to him. All right, I'll take a stab in the dark here. I don't know. Well, go and find out. Hello again. Did you find out what happened to our neighbor? No, not yet. I remembered his name, though. It was Mr. Morgan. Oh, that's right. That was his name. Did you find out if he had a wife? Oh, yeah. He did, apparently, and yes, she used to make these cookies for the kids in our building. What kind of cookies? I still remember the smell. What was it? Cinnamon. She used to make cinnamon cookies. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Those were so great. Yeah. Oh, no. What is it? I remember now. I think his wife passed away. She was sick and bedridden for some time, and one day she just... Died. That's right. Poor guy. He was heartbroken. I remember now. Yeah, such a tragedy. Well, this took a dark turn. Anyways, thank you. You were very helpful. No problem, miss. If there's anything else, please let me know. How could you say that? Um, say what? What did I say? About our neighbor. That something was wrong with him. I didn't mean anything by it, miss. It's just, I remember him being a bit, well, weird. He was just lonely. I guess. Loneliness does weird things to people. So sad. It really is. But can you pinpoint what it was that seemed off about him? There was no there. I don't. He was. Hi there. Welcome. How can I be of assistance? Yeah, do you know what happened to our neighbor from Whitewater Street? Which one? The lonely old man. Oh, that guy. He wasn't lonely. He had a wife. Didn't he? What happened to her? Um, she passed away. Oh no, what happened? She was sick. Poor guy. I bet he was devastated. I guess that's why he... What? Would spend his days in that bar down the street. I guess he didn't feel so alone there. Yeah, I guess he needed to be around people. What was the name of that place? It's on the tip of my tongue. I think it was Long Gone Day, miss. Oh yeah. Anyways, thank you. See you later. Bye, miss. Don't hesitate to ask for assistance. We're only happy if you're happy. Hey there, you. Did you remember the name of the bar? The Long Gone Day? Oh yeah, you're right. Funny name though. So, yeah, what does that have to do with anything? Well, you see, after his wife died, he would spend his days there. 
I remember him as being a heavy smoker. After his wife died, he picked up another habit. Oh no, poor guy. Yeah, he would always come home late at night and he could barely walk. I feel so sorry for him. What happened to him? I can't remember, but I have a feeling if you're hoping for a happy end, you'll be disappointed. I have to find out. I need to know what happened to him. Sure. I'll be here if you need my help. How could you say that? Um, say what? What did I say? About our neighbor. That something was wrong with him. I didn't mean anything by it, miss. It's just, I remember him being a bit, well, weird. He was just lonely, I guess. Loneliness does weird things to people. So sad. It really is. But can you pinpoint what it was that seemed off about him? He had a bit of a drinking problem. Oh, that's right. It all started after his wife passed away. He would spend his days in that dive bar down the street. What was the name? The Long Gone Day. Long Gone Day, that's it. Oh, what is it? I remember now. So what happened to him? He, I'm sorry to say this, but well, he died. Wait, really? Poor guy. What happened? There was this accident and I think it's best if you talk to my supervisor about that. Are you kidding? Tell me. He came home one night and he was drunk. I remember hearing about it somewhere. Apparently he fell asleep with a cigarette and his apartment, oh no. His apartment caught on fire. The fire department couldn't do nothing about it. They were too late. That's terrible. Such a tragedy. How come I don't remember any of that? I really don't know. But please, miss, talk to our supervisor. She might be able to help you remember. Fine, I'll talk to her. She's not exactly the nicest. She can be difficult, but you have to understand she's been here the longest. Okay, I'll go and talk to her. Thank you, by the way. You were very helpful. Glad I could help, miss. Such a sad story. It really is. Oh, Miss Outside. Did you find out what happened? I did. So, what happened? He... He died. He fell asleep with a cigarette and his apartment burned down. Sadly, that's right. Why did you make me do this? It's for your own good. It doesn't feel good. Not all good things feel that way. I can't... Listen, isn't it a bit strange you forgot all about that? It's very strange. You think I forgot on purpose? No one can forget on purpose. You forgot because it was easier. It just happened. So what now? Do I need to find something else for you or... What's going on? Did you... Hey, where'd you go? What just happened? 